prophet Nigel Gazy is the human founder and setman of the Prophetic Hill Church in Dome, with footprints in Sierra Leone, Ivory Coast, Banjul, South Africa, Liberia, United Kingdom, and the United States of America. From a humble beginning, he attended Ibuakwa State College and then through to Accra Polytechnic and ended his higher education at the University of Ghana, Lagon. At a tender age of 14, he started hearing from God and giving spots on prophecies to his mates and anyone he encountered accompanied by the miraculous. He has attended several conferences as the speaker around the world and has spoken into the life of kings, presidencies, presidents, ministers of states, and a great number of people across the societal ladder and goes into villages to preach about Jesus. He is a preacher of the word, a family man, and a master prophet by divine encounter. Prophet Nigel Gazy is our big interview guest for today. Stay tuned. Your guess was as good as ours. Well, now you know who our guest for the big interview is, Prophet Nigel Gacy. Good morning, Prophet. Very well, good morning, Rose. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's um, Okay, so the last time I saw it was like, Two three weeks ago, but before then, it was like four years. Very well, so how how come you? I've been, I've been I've been seeing once a time. I see you at uh, Prophet Anos Church. You praying? Like uh, hey, really? Yeah, I'm, I monitor it sometimes, most often on Thursdays. So I see you. Oh wow! And I see. I, I must appreciate it for always praying for being beautiful and being top notch journalists and still praying. Thank you. Why? A lot of people don't pray. A lot of the people don't have respect for spiritualism. And no one that you're different. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Now my head is growing big. Yeah. <laughs> like I was telling you earlier, I posted your flyer and um, some questions came in. But one that really caught my attention before we delve into who Prophet Nigel Gaze yeah. really is, was a question coming from a young man uh, in the NPP, Jesse Boako. And he says, I should ask you, why you hate NPP so much? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So again, good morning to you and good morning to you your viewers across the world and good morning to my church leadership and everybody and every man woman watching good morning to you so to answer your question i don't think that i hate the ndc uh that MPP. is mpp yes i don't i don't most of my most of my favorite favorite friends are and npp and whilst i was even on legon campus i was i was part of tescon and uh i have I have evidence i have some of my mates can can support this session so i'm not I'm, i don't hate the mpp but it's just unfortunate that for the past uh six maybe seven years my prophetic inspiration doesn't favor them uh, because uh they are not doing the right things and if you are not doing the right things i speak what god inspires me to say so it's just unfortunate and next year to my prophetic inspiration so far as i've seen maybe the god can change it but so far it's also not favor them. So I don't hate the MPP. More, in fact, most of my bosom friends are MPP, like uh, Professor Maikwe, uh, Gina Maikwe, Jefferson Saki, all of them. Jefferson is even my son. He can, so I'm not, uh, the deputy finance minister, all of this. I mean, so I don't hate. But what people must appreciate is that there is an independent Nigel Gazy, okay. and there is a prophet Nigel Gazy. The prophet Nigel Gazy doesn't have a color. Maybe the Nigel Gazi can have a color, but the prophet, when I'm in my element as a prophet, I don't have a color. I say what I hear, I see, I perceive, and sense. And unfortunately, over the past, but 2015, 2016, I was their friend, I was their bosom friend, whereby John Kuma and the rest can come, whereby Jefferson Saki, Eugene, all of them, and just a few. So, mm. uh, my good friend there, 
I don't hate the MPP. It's unfortunate. Yeah. I will delve deeper into you and political prophecies. Very well. But before we delve into that, you've said on various platforms how you come from a very poor home. Very well. And today you are who you are. Yes. What happened? How did God touch you? Okay, so like I've been saying, I think that if you follow my interviews, I think that uh, 14, uh, by 14, I was, I was smoking and I went to a woman, I was going to buy Kelly Willie, Star Regina took me to church and I saw a man there who is my spiritual father, he, he just returned from UK, wherever he's God bless, Apostle Kofi Free and Mokwe. In Ghana, he's known to be Jesus, I granted then. So I went and I loved what he was doing, I was inspired by it. Uh, so I left Aslam down, went to stay with him and I caught the fire, I caught the prophetic. So I, I was packing chairs, I was cleaning the instrument, and I became his prayer warrior. And, and, I, and, and I'm here, I caught, the prophetic is caught, it's not taught. So I caught it, and since 14, I have been speaking the mind of God. Since mm. the age of 14, I have been speaking the mind of God. So that was when you, did, you stopped smoking? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, I think that's why I, 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 I stopped smoking. Yeah. Oh, you were still smoking when no, you were no, serving no, no. him? No, 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 please. I stopped. The woman, I, after smoking or donor, I was going to buy Kelly Willie. So the woman didn't even sell it for me, Sister Regina. And she's in Norway now, doing very well. And she took me to church. So if there's a young boy, young girl somewhere in your area, you don't know what somebody can be tomorrow. Try to be intentional about their future. Try to help somebody. Because I always say that if not, we were two. The other guy, I'm not sure who didn't go to church. He's, he was jailed and he's, he died in jail. Oh. So I could, I, if maybe not for the intervention of Sister Regina, maybe anything at all could have happened to mm. me. I would have been an armed robber, I would have been in jail. Were you a thief? No, I have never stolen before. Yeah, But from one social vices, you go to another social vices, you go to another social vices. Mm. So the devil sells and sells subtly. It doesn't come just a day. Small, small, by the time you realize you're into something chronic. Mm. Yeah. And then you became a pastor. So just by working with a man, yeah. you became a pastor. That's no, no, I, w I went through, I went under training. Okay. I, went, I went under training. Then how I went, long? Oh, I, it's, I think that I, the, for the year 97, 98, 99, 2000, yeah. So I went to, I stayed, I, I have only one master who is Jesus Abranti, yeah? but I've, I've, I've worked with, I had opportunity some few months or years to work with Archbishop Duncan, I, I passed through action briefly, but the Lord told me I shouldn't be in the destiny of somebody, so then I started my own ministry mm. by the message of God, and so far, even not for the MPP's attacks and their consistent intimidation, my church should, should be more bigger than what it is, but still, better late than never, what God will do, he will do it, yeah. We'll delve into that one. Very well. I'm okay. No. I came for you. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are calling me. I've not gone. I came, I came because. Yes, yeah. we are very grateful for I'm that. Uh, we'll delve into that, but let's stick to the prophetic a bit. Very well. So before we delve into yeah, the prophetic. Yeah, you're a church lady, so I yes. know you love the prophetic. I, I really, yeah. I really do love yeah. it. Every time I see you, I tell you to prophesy yeah, to me. So you but still if have you keep desiring, you can prophesy. Eh. Yeah, you keep desiring. So what, is it given to you by God or you just desire, you get it? Yeah, How does uh, it work? there are a lot of dimensions in which you can catch the spirit. You can catch it by following somebody who carries it. You can catch it by desiring, by loving somebody who carries it. And God in his own prerogative right can give it to you. Yeah. So, so how it, do you know you have it? You know, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 that as many, 8 verse 14, as many that are led by the Spirit are the sons of So the Spirit will lead you. Often I see somebody, when I start here, I've seen something about some of your people. So you see. Oh. It's intrinsic. It will come. You see. How does it, how do you see it? Is it that you see them on you know, the screen or? Okay, we are, we are different dimensions of the prophetic. Uh, every, the basic is that every prophet uses his five senses to prophesy. But we have some that they've grown in the realm of the spirit, that some, their eyes are predominant among the five senses. Some, their ears are predominant among the five senses. Some, they are, there's something called prophetic utterance. As I'm speaking, I can see something that I've not thought of. It will just come. It's called prophetic utterance. But mine, I see more in dreams. Okay. Yeah, so the least opportunity you give me, I'll sleep. And when I sleep, I'll see right now. Oh. Yeah, I'll see right. And don't give me the opportunity of giving me your attention. When you give me attention, I'll see, I'll see things about you. And sometimes you're very naked. Naked how? Yeah, sometimes you're very naked. 
I don't understand. I, that we, we, we get so you're to looking a, at me and then you yeah, see me. Yeah, we can get to a realm whereby we see everything about you, including what's, what's in you, maybe your intestine. Every, we see deep. So you're looking at the person and you see the person standing yeah, yeah, yeah. there. That is why it could, it those who have followed the prophet for some time, the year 99, 98, 2000, the prophet then can say, with the greatest of respect to yourself and your destiny, they can say, oh, sorry to say you're wearing a yellow a yellow singlet, a yellow brand. We always see to that. That's why somebody can come to us and we'll say that your, the, the child in your womb is a girl. We always see. Okay. We can say that uh, people have come to me that they didn't know that they have sicknesses in them. But I'll just sense and perceive that. Go and do this test and they will go and it is so. Mm. So we see. Talking about that, do you ever get wrong, prophecies wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, you might get the message right, but sometimes the decoding. That is why the prophetic arena doesn't like disturbances. Okay. Yeah, because the, pro the prophet is like a, surg a surgeon. You can get a message right, but the decoding you can be. Or sometimes we see in symbols. Okay, so when I get here and I send something like, okay, something like the formalin. Sometimes we sense. That's why I use our five cents, no, the nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll not hear or see when somebody gets closer to me, I'll smell formalin. That is, you know formalin? No, what's that? That drug or medicine they used to inject dead body. Okay. Uh, so when I sense formalin, what it means is that God is telling me to decode it that there is premature death around that person. Oh. So sometimes the Holy Spirit will not tell you clearly or audibly that this person is going to die. You will just sense it. Sometimes someone will get closer to you, you send poverty. You can sense poverty. So you just decode and tell the person that like, if you don't take care of ABC, you'll be poor. And you can sense wealth. Your poverty is a spirit, it's a personality, and, and so that is it. Okay. Yeah. Quite, quite interesting, yeah. isn't it? What about the names? Sometimes I've, I've listened to you on radio yes, a few please. times, and there have been names you've mentioned, and somebody yeah. will say, no, this is not my name. Yeah. Uh, how does it happen? Okay, so the names, I hear most of it in my right ear and sometimes on my chest as soon as that's what every prophet wants attention okay if you don't give a prophet attention sometimes we're a little bit harsh towards you well, all that we need is that just give us an attention let it let there be drums let there be noise and we'll just speak the mind of god yeah and like you said personally there are times where i've gotten the message right but the presentation or the decoding i got it wrong mm. because we grow you know, sometimes God, God speaks with you. Maybe you can just see. There was a time that we we're getting closer to an election, and I saw that all leaves, all green leaves, have become dry. Mm -hmm. So you have to interpret it. Uh, I didn't, I didn't monitor that prophecy. Getting closer to that time, the leaves did come back again. So you can get it, you can get it wrong if you are not consistent. And if you are not so closer to God with your fasting life, your spirit, yes, yeah, so you can get a message right, but sometimes they so, so the times that you got it wrong, yeah, there have been few you times. Didn't, you didn't really, yeah, you were when not I, too close yeah, to God? yeah, when I started, if you are mm. I can say that you are Ajwa, okay, but I will locate where you are staying, I will can locate your problem, but as we grow, mm. as we grow, mm. as we grow, yeah, so uh, if you're if you're a sad prophet. We don't want any, so sometimes people feel that the prophet are harsh, they feel that the prophet are hostile, because the least mistake you can, you can, there, there are times whereby the Amherst prophecy, we gave it to be, uh, Sister Presla. Oh. Yes, so you can go to a prophetic ar arena and your prophecy can be given to another person. And the person will receive it? Yeah, the person will receive it. And it will come to pass? Yeah, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. It's the prophetic is a seed. It will come to pass. Even if it's a negative prophecy. Yeah, if it's a negative prophecy and you are open, that is why every every man of God you cover your children department because the prophetic is a seed. It's a word. And Isaiah fifty three, Isaiah fifty five, every word that goes, it will come, mm. whether good or bad. So when you go to a church, when you go to a spiritual center, a prophetic arena, if you are a lot of people, they open themselves up. They easily they they open so. That if you are not standing right, maybe let's pray, you are not praying, let's clap our hands, you are not clapping. Any, if something bad is going on, it's all, if you are weak in the spirit, it's mm. all, yeah, it's all. The name Prophetic Arena is somebody's church, right? Yeah, Prophetic Arena, yeah, that's Prophet, uh, the Prophet uh, Kofi Danso, that's okay. Canada, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, Kofi okay. Danso. He's a great man of God, doing well in Canada and in America, okay. very well, yeah. Okay, yeah. but you're using that same name for No, your Prophetic Hill Church. Yours is the yeah, Hill Church. Yeah, Prophetic Church, Church yeah. Okay, but are you going to use the Prophetic Arena um, maybe in one of your 
events maybe oh, no, a, no, no, okay yeah, not yeah. at all yes please. Right. You see, we do things we we do things by the leading of the spirit mm. so you cannot say never so far as it's, it's biblical prophetic it's biblical maybe sometime the lord will inspire me that get organize a program call it so so yeah what's your standing like with uh, some of these young charismatic pastors um some people are of the opinion and they tell some of their congregants that uh, you are not a true man of God. I know you have heard it, yeah. so you can't deny yeah. it. So what's your standing like? It's, it's normal. Is it? It's very normal. Four, four things bear witness that I'm, I'm called of God. Number one, God knows I'm called of him. The devil knows I've been called by God. The people whom I've been called to knows that I've been called by God. And I know I've been called by God. If at my young age of 39, if what I'm doing is not of God, is it money I'm looking for? I had plenty. You have plenty money. I had plenty. I've used it to build for God. So right now you don't have money. No, I'm I'm very I'm I'm very wealthy. You're I'm very wealthy. Very very. That's nice. Anything that busy, any busy thing that a young man should have in life, but the message of God, I have more, maybe a little more. You said your shoe cost. Oh, let's not go. Let, let's let's not go. Don't, no, don't just, take controversy. I just want to, I just want to know. I just let's, want to let's, know. Let's let's <laughs> let's not. So I'll not give you that news you are looking for. <laughs> I don't give no, I'm, you. Just, I'm just asking because you yeah. said you're wealthy. No, yeah, so. no, I'm wealthy. I'm a prophet. Anywhere there's oil, there, that's wealth. Okay. And I'm, 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 uh, I'm I carry oil. Okay. I, I mean, anybody that would say that prophet Nigel or Nigel is not of God, then that person has a problem. Mm. Because the Bible says that by their fruits, you can know them. It's maybe most of the people who say that are quote unquote the MPP people who feel that. The, my prophetic inspirations are not to their benefit. They say that the guy is not of God. Because if 39, the, the, you see, the Bible says that he that loves God builds for God. Some men of God get money and they use it for cars, their girlfriends, their concubines, their family. As young as I am, there is no ed edifice, church edifice. If you are talking about five beautiful edifice, church edifice in Ghana, in Accra, my church will fall within. Right. So in yes, a flash, so yeah, yeah, by the message of yeah. God, in, in a flashy area. Let me, if you've gotten $1 million, if you have give, gotten $2 million, can you give it to God? If you can give it to God, we've given it with the greatest of respect. Mm. So it's, and I always tell people that a prophet is known by time. Okay. And I'm, I, I would not be the last person to be a judge in my own court. Mm. But time, Ghanaians will know, the world will know. I mean, if I'm not of God, then God, like, that's what they did to Prophet Tim Joshua. Those of us who have carried unusual anointing, uh, people think that we are not of God. But if you are not of God, then God has a problem. If I'm not of God, uh, uh, sometimes, Rose, after church, I use all the money, like Sunday, I use all the money, the offering to pay people's bills. Oh, wow. Yeah, sometimes I deny my kids, I deny my family, my immediate family. Of the basic thing to sort people so at my young age if i'm not of god then i don't know what I, again i want mm. because based like i said basically what is it again so when these uh, news started going around how yeah. did you feel because you know before you became that popular yeah. people knew you to be a true man of god yeah. then all of a sudden let me take us back into 2019 2020 yes, please. where i think honorable canadian japon yeah. took you to the, the gutters. grass the gutters yeah the grass is, is a pleasant even, word so uh, to the gutters. the deeper gutters yes yeah. um did shows about you said you 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 had done so many things killed human beings and all of that yeah. How did that affect you? It, it affected it uh, again. If you just put your TV or wherever you're watching us, God bless you. And uh, it affected the church of God very gravely, very, very gravely. And uh, it's not me that he attacked, it's God that he attacked. It's not me. Kennedy Pond never attacked me because if Kennedy Pond knows me, Nigel Gacy, he will know that I could stand to be just like his son. I could be any so it's not me he he attacked the church and he attacked the body of Christ in Ghana and here it was sad that the fathers of the land couldn't stand up to speak for the church it's not me because if you say that I've murdered somebody and you are the uh, I think I stand to be corrected the chairman of the security blah 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 in parliament and since then I've never been invited to a police station I've never been cautioned then I'm sorry, any sensible person should treat it with a pinch of salt that it, it's this. Why didn't you take him to court for defamation? Oh, you see, anything I do, I'm inspired by God. I was going to take him on 
And the Lord said, I should leave him. And so when my master says, I should leave him, the Bible says in Galatians 6 verse 7, that whatsoever a man soweth, he shall reap. Maybe he might escape it by his philanthropic, because I see a lot of things about him, uh, by his philanthropic deeds. But maybe one day, one of his sons will be treated like he treated me. Maybe one of his daughters, one of a bloodline, somebody in his bloodline, will be treated maybe worse than he treated me. Is it a prophecy? Jesus? No, it's not a prophecy. It's biblical. It's karma. Whatever you do, it will come back to you. Mm. A young man doing the work of God, I don't know, I don't know you. I've never met you anywhere. And you attack me because I prophesied that John Muhammad is going to be president. And you are, I killed Ebony. Uh, I killed Wendy. Uh, I mean, back to back, more than six months. I was going to, I was in Israel. I was going to River Jordan. And the woman was baptized. They were baptized. As soon as she got, I said, I know the one that Kennedy upon was, well, attacked you. I think that if I was a son, he would not do that. But I've forgiven him. My mother nearly died because of that. And I'm the breadwinner. I'm the last born of eight. You understand? And it has cost me. I lost a lot. A lot of, a lot of quality people that were connected to me. Were, because this is no, no mean a person. Now he's standing for presidential distance to come up back to back. And you see, it was systemic. It, was, it is from the MPP. Just that defame the messenger and his message will not be accepted because I said John Muhammad will be present. And some of them also know that if the time changes, they'll go to prison. If the time changes, the law will come after them. So they'll make sure that they'll defame me. And they are still doing it. But hey, time is the best of all. Time will tell. Mm. You understand? So I've forgiven him. I have nothing against him. But what it is is that it is what it is. He has done it and that's it. Fourth November, yeah. uh, they go to the polls to elect a presidential uh, flag bearer. Yeah. Will he win? I saw that Baumia will win. Okay. Yeah, Baumia will win. It is for Alan, but he, he grabbed it to be taken it. Oh. Yeah, prophetically it's for Alan. I said it, I was inspired to say two and a half years ago or so, but they've twisted his hands. I saw that he was an, Alan was on a horse mm -hmm. and I saw that he was bleeding. I said this by the inspiration of about two years ago. Okay. And I saw that Baumia would take it, so Baumia would take it. As at, as at January, February, March there, it was between Kennedy. You see, if not for what Kennedy Pond did to some of us, mm -hmm. he stood a very good chance. But he has messed it up. Yeah, if not, and I think that when he is alone mm -hmm. on his pillow, he will regret some of these regrettable regrets. If not, he's a fine man, very, very fine man. Very, very fine man. Uh, but for what he has done, I don't, even for because of my sake, mm -hmm. for me alone, my sake, there's no way God will honor him. Really? There, no, no. There, some of us have covenant before God. Some of us have walked with God. Some of us have served God. That you attack me, attack me. It's unfortunate. I still love him. I love them. And so if not for what he did to you, he could have become the flag bearer? Yeah, if not for, you see, I've had, I've, I've, uh, I'm friendly. I'm a social media friendly person. I've been reading. Very friendly. Yeah, yeah. See, what he did to the church, even if they give the nod to him, some of us will, 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 will pray and fight that it should not be. Because this, uh, you, you want to be, whilst you are not present, you can lie on people. You can lie. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an, I'm, I'm a, I lead a congregation. At that time, before he attacked my own night, about 2,000, 1,500 people. You had a huge Yeah, number. very huge number. Just, it dropped like that. Attack Bedi Kobe, drop like that. Attack us, drop like that. If nobody's above attack, nobody's above. If we are doing something wrong, nobody's above that. But bring the evidence, bring the material. I always tell people that anything that we are, have been accused of, do you have any, has anybody bring material evidence to support it? It's just the figment of the imagination. They feel that, oh, the guy is NDC. I'm not NDC. If you check, I'm even MPP. Because those times when we're Legon, they program us in that the uh, like uh, the Kufo low, era, right? Yeah, the Kufo era. They, yeah. they program us that low level, quote unquote, low level people are in N NDC, uneducated people are in NDC. You know, so, so we're programmed to be capitalist, not socialist. So I'm, I believe in capitalism, but what time I become a utilitarian instead of being a capitalist. So I am more more pro capitalist, more pro MPP than. And this is just that it's the work I'm doing. The law said this. When the law said 2016, Nanado will be president, we supported it. 
I was in America, the Lord said, talk can, can that part to tighten the security. I said it. So if I say, this is not good, it's not me, don't attack me. So can I Japan, for me, I saw, as we speak, so something changes before November 4, bow me away. Hmm. Yeah. Will Kennedy still remain a member of the NPP? That I've not prayed. I don't even pray about. I don't pray about those things. It's the Lord that shows me. Okay. So far, what I've seen is that as of that thing last two and a half months is Baumia yeah. that I saw. Okay. And if we see anything again, we'll see. Mm. Now back into 2020, you know, you went out when elections were going on, screaming on your phone. And DC be wild, they are stealing it, blah 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 blah. But still, nothing happened. What uh, happened? What did NDC do wrong that all the prophecies still didn't manifest? Oh, I asked to whom it matters to that did the NDC lose? Was it a runoff? Was it a win? He said, Prophet, you I, we won per what you saw. The NDC won in the last election, according to what I saw. But if something is for you. And you don't do the need for if you are not vigilant. This type, the system we are in is not a system that understands diplomacy. It is not a system that we play sub we use we place we use sub gloves to deal with them. And if you somebody's come with an ionic hand and you want to be that da 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 they will take what belongs to you. What was for Esau was taken by so I what I saw came to pass. Uh, it is made, I will put it prophetically, it is still hanging in the atmosphere. And this is from the womb of the spirit. In our time, it will come to pass. Okay. Yeah. And when is it coming to pass? Uh, I don't know, Rose. If it's in the, <laughs> if it's from God, if it's from God, it will come to pass. Okay. Yeah. We have prophecies that can be hijacked. You can hijack a prophecy, but if the prophecy is from the womb of the spirit, it will come to pass. Mm. Mm -hmm. You just speak about the fathers of the land. Who yeah. are these fathers of the land? Because we've heard it so many times, but we don't know who they are. Oh, I think that I think that there are a lot of them that if I should start. If I mention anyone, maybe one or two might get offended. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mention. Okay, so let me let me do you the honors by saying mention three. Maybe there are twenty, but just give me three. Of okay, them. Archbishop Duncan is a father of the land. Okay, uh, Archbishops uh, uh, in the prophetic arena, uh, prophet, senior prophet of Pukunsia is a, a, a father. Okay, uh, Archbishop Salifo Marco is a father. Uh, Archbishop Ajinasari is a father. Okay. Reverend Sam Kwanchiankra okay. is a father. And 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 uh, yeah, Reverend mm. Isula Naba is a so father. anybody in a certain generation yeah. is a father of the yeah. land, right? Yeah. We okay. are the third generation. Okay. After Archbishop and the rest, that will come the Sofu uh, Ajman Prempe, okay. Jesus Abrante, yeah, Apai Life, uh, Opambo, you okay. understand? Obinim. Mm. And so when they are not there, then we you. are the okay. third generation. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you and who and who are the third oh, generation? I think that Brian, uh, Brian Dana Martin, El Bernard, uh, B.B. Fredericks. Okay. You understand? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so okay. their fathers, their semi fathers, mm -hmm. and we are after them. Okay. Yeah. And none of these fathers spoke for you when they. Oh, it's not me. You see, one thing is that, Rose, you have to understand were that. Were you hurt about it? Yeah. They, were you hurt that they never came? Yeah, I'm, I, I was very hurt about it. I'm so hurt about it. Hurt is an estimate. I'm, I was, I'm bitter about it. And you see, it's not me. It's the church. And I, and I always tell my people, my team, that what we went through, maybe God allowed it. Of course, God allowed it because there's nothing that will happen that if God has not allowed it to happen. Uh, it's for me, so as some years to come, nobody would dare do that to any, any man of God in this country. Even my life, which I'll be, mm. a time is coming that nobody will do what uh, Kennedy Pon ever did to anybody, any church in this country. I'll come after you. I will personally come after you. If you attack a man of God, I will personally, I will call you on the phone and I'll tell you that I'm coming after you. Mm. I will use the law to come after you. So I, maybe I went through what I went through to stand for the faith some years to come or some time to come. A time is coming in Ghana that if you do what they did on TV, what they do on social media, anybody at all can put TV and come on him, this man of God, I will call you on the phone. That my name is Nigel. I'm coming after you, and I'll come after you with all my arsenals and weapons available. Legally, I'll come after you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I feel that you see, the fathers did not protect us. The fathers of the day. When you go to Nigeria, it's not so. Mm. <laughs> they are friends. Suleiman, Talina, and the rest. They are friends. You, you, you. Why is it that Jerry Eze will go to? I was in America. I was in Texas. Filled the whole place. He will go to London. Uh, Joshua, Apostle Joshua, Summer. Filled the whole place. We 
carry more oil. Mm -hmm. we, we see more deeper. And they acknowledge when they see and when we are talking. Why is that the Ghanaian cannot do? When, we go, I, when I go to abroad, I don't fill a room that is as even 100. Oh, the really? only, yes, the, the only Ghanaian prophet that fills places is Prophet uh, Nana Sesa Akwadiye. Please, I get what I'm saying. Mm. Is it because we have destroyed our own? This is not of God. That is not of God. But they'll go for the Nigerian, and they are not better than us in any sense. Mm. They'll go to, for the South African. They, in fact, if you are spiritual, we carry more than they carry when it comes to the prophetic. The Nigerians have the word. They have the deliverance. Mm -hmm. When they are sitting there, Nigeria is preaching. You feel that you don't even. You have not even opened the Bible. But when it comes to power, when it comes to that says the Lord, they know we, but why is it so? Our best will go to UK, they cannot even fill 50 rooms, member. And, and, and it's sad because we destroy our own. The Ghanaian fathers, the Ghanaian seniors, they don't protect a gift and a talent. A gift and a talent can have human discrepancies and shortcomings. Mm. But that does not negate that the gift is not correct. You understand? As I sit what here, are some of the shortcomings that people think that it should negate the prophetic gifting? Uh, you see, people feel that the prophet should be what they want the prophet to be. But the, every true prophet is like a wind. Mm. The Bible says you cannot decide where it comes from. We are unpredictable. We, there are times where by my ministry I'm under ocean, I have slapped a woman, life. I slapped her. There was a woman sitting in the church, very beautiful with Louis Vuitton mm -hmm. calf, and I slapped it. All the church people were like, oh, why did the prophet do that? And not knowing the woman has 17 years head problem. And when I slapped it, till then to today, that sickness is gone. It has never, she went to South Africa because of that. So they want us to be uh, wear what they want us to wear, they want us to eat what they want, but it doesn't work like that. We are not men's people, we are God's people, and we do what God says we should do. Where a man of God should be judged or a man of God should be brought to account is if he's behaving out of the characters of Bible. Okay, like? Oh, if a man of God is drinking, if a man of God, blah, blah, the social vices, okay. blah, blah. But let's appreciate that. So far as we are on earth, Human weakness is common among all men. Mm. The Pope of Canterbury has it. Everybody do has it. Do you have it? Yes, I do. What's your weakness? Oh, my weakness, uh, I will not say because of the, the how, how wicked our systems are. Any, you see, what makes us men is that we have a weakness. If mm. I don't have a weakness, then I'm Jesus. It is only Jesus, it's only the Spirit of God, it's only God who does not have a weakness. Every human being born on this planet has a weakness. The electoral commissioner has a weakness. Nanado has a weakness. John Bahama has a weakness. You and I, all the people we, here. We so, hear yeah. about these weaknesses and it's said that when you go for deliverance yeah. and uh, you go back and commit the sin, the, whatever was delivered out of you comes in thousands of yeah, folds yeah. or seven, in a double, in a double of folds. Yeah. Um, as a man of God, this same weakness that we are talking about, you carry. So after you preach and you go and do it, what happens to you oh, then? Oh no, any, any, any anybody that want apostle paul said be holy for behold the bible said be holy be perfect for i am perfect anybody that seeks to go to heaven that seeks that his source is only jesus is it committing you can you get to a realm that committing sin is even expensive okay y yes co committing sin mm. is expensive but let's you know i'm a landed person i'm very truthful but let's not write it off that the day you see the day enoch got out of the realm of not committing sin he was raptured okay. if there is no element of sin in you you go to a realm whereby sinless people live but in this realm it's a realm that sinful people live but if you're a man of god at a certain level there are things that there are things that i used to do five ten years ago that it will cost me to do now mm. because one my investment become more to the people around I have people around me that when the media is lying on me, they will text, Papa, when you're doing things, consider us. Our brigadiers in my church, majors in my church, senior nurses in my church, bankers in my church. So even if I want to do it, I've gotten to a point that uh, the people, now I know you, Ruth, mm. you will not appreciate that every day. Stop, 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 stop. So if you see, since January, I'm not talking. Yeah. Because anytime I talk, 
they will just come and hit me back. And so I've, yes, they will come and lie on me. They will come in. So I've decided to keep quiet, not for my sake. Because I see on a daily basis, God comes to me every day around. I don't sleep at dawn, so I sleep between 6 to 10. Between 6 to 10, I see things. That's my gift. And anybody that has had an encounter with me will know that the guy can be anything you think he is, but he sees. That you can't take it from mm. me. And so this is what is sent for people. Everybody sins. Mm. Yeah. Since everybody sins, um, you also say you sin, but I didn't say I sin. What I'm saying is, Wait, that, not everybody does. Yeah, no. What I'm saying, this uh, Ezekiel said, this world, the world, the earth is for sinful men. You understand? Makes more sense. Yeah, it's, it's yes. for sinful. Yes. Men. I didn't say so. I once, sin. once we are a yeah. part of yeah, once, the world, very well so. yes, very, very well so. We have some comments coming in. Let's see. Hello, Madam Roslyn Feli. Please ask Prophet Nigel Gazi that why is it that his prophecies I've been always hearing is negative, not positive? For example, five years ago, Ebony Reigns, the dancehall artist, please ask him why. Okay, so I thank you again. And to all the people watching, uh, Auntie Rose, the prophecies are not mine. I'm not mad. You see, the funny aspect is I have a son. He's in the UK. Okay. He's 11 years. Since I gave birth to him, I've seen only one thing about him. I've never seen anything about him. So is it true that when somebody's close to you? No, you don't see. Really? Yes. Like this, my son, I've worked with him over a decade. I don't see anything. So sometimes they take advantage and mess up. You understand? But I tell them that if you do good, you do for yourself. <laughs> right. You understand? So what we see what people must understand is that it's not us it is somebody's prerogative that see this and say and we see and we say right. if it's me i would have manufactured if it's prophet or not if it's a prophet or the prophet in ghana we will say what you want to hear but it's not us we are like we are a, a man or a woman mm -hmm. under authority we say what our master says we should say Okay. And and that is it. So unfortunately, Ebony's prophecy, I'm sorry. It wasn't it your fault. Yeah. And okay. can I your point say I killed it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apostle Boris or Danny Mensa says the master prophet great work. Uh, Pedro Wa, Pedro Wa, Maldina Cruz says, watching you live and clear inside Indianapolis, Kumasi, Tanoso, Kesben Junction, the main location. Keep up the good work. All right. Thank you, Pedro Wa. I'm Nanayao from Volta. I really love this pastor. My mom is also prophetess. But thing is, uh, but thing are not, things are not going on well with her. What should she do now, pastor? All right. So if you're a man of God, a woman of God, and things are not working, one, you check your relationship with your spiritual father, your okay. spiritual source. All right. Because if you disconnect and if you are not standing well with your source, you'll be dislocated. And so you check it. Then you cannot carry oil and be poor. You cannot carry oil for your life to be weeded. So sometimes check your lifestyle as a man of God, as a woman of God. And if you apply as the principles are, sometimes some men of God don't pay their tithes. They don't fast. Mm. They don't pray. No, I mean, you'll be with it. Follow the principles and you'll be fine. Great. God bless you, prophet of God. I'm an MPP man, but truth be said, I love you so much and tap into your grace, man of God. Please impact more, uh, please impact upon me your prophetic grace. I long for grace with passion. God bless you. So you should use Joel 2.28 to pray. It shall come to pass. That's what I, I used to pray. If you, if you want to catch the prophet, if you want higher grace, you don't fast for yourself. You don't pray for yourself. You pray for the people you want to be like them. Okay. So what I did when I was young is I prayed for my spiritual father, Prophet T.B. Joshua, and Prophet Joannis Abaini. Okay. These are the three people I've always been looking up to, I've always been praying for, and their gifts fell on me. All right. And you use Joel 2.28 to pray. And if you want to pray in the prophetic, you want the prophetic tips are done. The, it says, see, I was listening to Bishop Daki Ward Mills, and he said he had followed uh, Young Kucho for a very long time, but he was not getting it. He was playing the tape, playing it, playing it. One day done, then the spirit, it, this thing is spirit, it will enter you. Mm -hmm. And you start, you start, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that is it. Please, good morning. I'm enjoying your show. Please, how can I be connected to Prophet Nigel Gazi? I really admire him. And I'm a pastor, uh, Kweku Roberts Jr. from Revelation Bible Kingdom Church. Okay, I will try and see how we can connect you. Don't worry. Please, um, Prophet, I believe in your anointing. Please declare a word on my brother, Kingsford. This is coming from Vivian in Bogoso. 
we speak grace on Kingsford. All right. Good morning, great man of God. Really appreciate you, Prophet Gazi. Please kindly say a prayer for me. Thanks from Auntie Tina for Prasso. Mama Tina, grace locates you. All right. So now, Prophet Nigel Gazi. Um, One thing that I want you to do, your media should do, which I will avail myself, okay. is that people doubt the prophetic. And it is because one of the, it is a, a, it is a satanic work. Because the prophetic is a surgical part of God that to win souls is easy with the prophetic, to gather. So one day, I want you people to create an atmosphere where I will come here, some prophet will come here. Okay. Give us life opportunity to prophesy to people. Okay. Like today, you can open the phone lines. Mm. I'll prophesy life. Should we try? You understand? Let, let me ask the uh, producer. Pro yeah, producer. You can hear me? I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope you are getting what I'm saying. We don't, you, we, don't, we don't have the time. Yes, we'll, we'll, you understand. We are, you see, yeah. What I want Ghanaians to understand is that, you see, those of us who even prophesy, Rose, sometimes we don't know what we are saying. We don't know who on the flower. We don't know what we are saying. So let's stop this fake, fake, fake thing. Mm. If <laughs> No, we can't be fake. In Ghana, every man of God, is, there was a time, uh, a senior man of God told me, he said, that, Prophet, when you grow, you have gray hair. Okay, Adum Che is not fake, but Prophet Nigel is fake. Mm. Because Adum Che is old. I, I, but we have old, more older people who maybe they are not of God than the younger ones. But they don't say it. What I'm saying is that, let's stop this fake, 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 fake. And Ghanaians, some Ghanaians have a premeditated mentality about certain men of God. Mm. If you're a man of God, you look sharp, you're handsome, you're dedicated, you're vocal. Oh, so for your weapon, mao. So for the unfinya meal. If you have crap, if you have members, if you have more souls in your church, this church is not of God. Though. But if you have two, three church members, hey, this pastor is holy, oh, is of God. Though. When you see a pastor walking, like you are asking of my shoe, yes, I'm not shy to mm. say it's thousand four, it's what with one thousand two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You understand? And it's called red button. Mm. So if they see a prophet, a man of God wear this, oh, um, finyamio, or be pemba, or bo But you see, Christianity is not a signature of poverty. Okay. You can enter into Christianity with poverty, but since one year, something must change in your life. Because mm. we, we the congregants, even come and pray that God should change our lives. Very so how much also. More but yes, yeah, very well so. <laughs> right. I, I hope you get what yeah. I'm saying. So it's, it's, it's a, it is a myopic, outlandish mentality that we have to change from that. Littleness is not of God. Mm. That mobrowa itty pity is not of God. Mm. We have to enjoy the best. You know when the camera went on your shoes, your phone decided to also represent in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. That's your fine. phone says that I'm I will also show myself. Very old, that. Very old. Yeah. I get you. So let's to the we are saying that to the younger, we are not preaching materialism. Mm. We are not preaching profligate or materialism. Christianity is not a signature of that poverty. Of poverty. No, sir. No, madam. You see, one thing that happens to us when we are in Christ is that we are from a different house, the land of Moab. When we come to Bethlehem, there must be bread. Mm. There must be bread. So when you go to church and this man of God, this woman, when a footballer is driving Rolls Royce, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. But when a man of God is driving Rolls Royce, it's a problem. Let's change from that. Let's when change. a Christian mm. is doing well. Uh, they will say that, oh, sister, we are Shawuni. This sister is in drag. Let's let's be pleasant. Mm. Because Muslims are doing well. The Hindus are doing Why well. Can't Why can't do we well? do well? And, and talking about that, I am excited about your event that okay. you are putting together. Because if you want to do well, make sure you are at this event. When your battle is from home. Tell Whether us you about are here it. or you are not here. If you have Christ, you do well. <laughs> let's, let's not but, narrow but, but, but we have to be here Very too. Also. Let's talk about it. Very Tell also. us about it. Yeah, so about, about eight years ago, I was in England. And when I, I, was, I was in Birmingham, so I, I was going into my car and I saw under traffic light, it was raining, it's winter, five, a woman with five kids, they were under the traffic light. So I was speaking with a man of God, we were speaking to you, then the woman responded, say, Mufi Ghana. Then I asked her, why are you here? And she said that she's homeless. She has been in the UK for 23 years. And for the past 19 years, she and her four children are homeless. Then wow. I said, the battle is from home. If the battle is not from home, you not travel from wherever you came from in Ghana, go to UK, your four children, homeless, fatherless. And then the Lord gave me a scripture, Jeremiah 5 and 25. He said, among my own people, are men that catches and set trap to catch men. Mm. 
So that is why I said, when your battle is for home. And doing this work of God for some a time now, I've seen the wildest thing that men go through. Uh, they brought a young girl to me. The father works at Nestle, a very senior officer. The father has prostate cancer, almost about to die. Wow. And the young girl, biological daughter of the father, is the one working against the father. Huh? Yes, is the one working against the father. And she's a witch. The maternal mother gave it to her. And they have, so, they have assigned her to kill the father. That is her assignment. She confessed in the church. So the battles are from home. And, 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 and uh, you see, doing this way, prophesying around the world, I've seen the most ridiculous thing that happened to men. And the common thing among all of us is that it is from the men and women when we wake up at 4 a.m., we write their name on our paper, our daughter, mm. that if God, if I take my salary, I'll give Akusia this, I'll give Amma this, I'll give Kusia. They are the very people working against us. Wow. Yes. I had the woman at Santoa. Anytime she goes to the embassy and she tells her husband she doesn't get the visa. She's a pharmacist. Her own yes, husband. Yes, her own husband with three kids. So I told her by the experience I've had, and I told her that, as you are going to the embassy, don't tell your husband. So she went. She didn't tell the husband. It was a Thursday. As soon as she came out of the American embassy, they gave her the five, she, they gave her the five years. When she came out of the American embassy, the embassy called her again, that we are sure your picture is not what is on. When she wants, it is a man's picture. And the husband called, why is that? Whilst we were going, you didn't tell. I have, a, I have a woman in my church. Most of my church members are watching me. She is a professional teacher. Those of you who don't believe anything, please listen. She is a professional teacher. She, is in, she stays in Kaswa. She comes to my church. A professional teacher, mm. Rose. And this lady had five years UK visa. That, that thing is even an embarrassment to me. I always, I'm shy anytime I'm saying it. She came to give testimony on Friday, because Fridays we have all night. That Sunday evening, she's going to UK. She got to UK Sunday evening. So when you leave Kotoka around 9, 10, you get to UK around Ghana time, 5, 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. Let's say this is Ah, this lady got to Itro, Sister Rose. She couldn't fill her forms. My church members. Professional are, teacher. Yes, professional teacher. Your man, they gave her another opportunity. She couldn't fill her forms. She lost everything. Dementia on the spot. Wow. Less, lost everything. They put her in the plane. When she got to Kotoka, the mother, the biological mother called her. He said that when we were going, they didn't tell me. Actually, give me a cook. Her biological mother. I don't lie. I'm fasting. My church members are watching. Maybe the girl is watching me. The husband is also watching me. Professional teacher. Today, she had dementia. Someone said, what is dementia? Loss of brain. A professional teacher. And her own mother did Yes, her own mother. So our battles are from home. Wow, the battles are definitely yeah, from home. So it's starting on the 29th of October? Yeah, 29th, this Sunday. Mm. And uh, we'll end it 5th November. Okay. I always tell people, come and feast in prayer. Mm. And I always tell people that nothing will happen next year. Uh, March 24, times will be difficult, times will be hard, regardless of whoever or whatever. So come and prepare next year. I don't sell water, I don't sell powder, I don't sell anything. I give you the opportunity. Come and pray. And if you come and pray, uh, we are prophet who will speak. Mm. Things will happen. So if you want to be there and you want to still call and make further inquiries, you can contact them on 0244 um, 737 8360 0244 737 Just contact them and be a part of it. So Sunday well, is actually at 8am. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. <All right. laughs> Sunday is at 8 a.m. and then you get your own. Monday is actually at 6 p.m. each yeah. night yeah. and also all night on the 4th of November yeah. at 9 This p.m. Friday is all night. The upper week too is all night. Okay. As well to my young men and women whom the system has failed all of us. Please come and pray. The system has failed? Yeah, the system has failed us. Hey, Prophet Nigel Gaze, let me ask you this final one before right. you go. If you people invite me, if you don't have time, you don't invite me. I know, because right. I'm a table. I know. <laughs> Don't worry, next time we'll invite you right. for like very two well, hours. Well. But the final this, one. This your man gave a man of God opportunity to insult me. But I've been watching, he's a handsome guy. Hey, he begs you. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's a handsome guy. I've been monitoring him. He's, he's, he's ladies man. He love women. <laughs> Uh, what, what is his name? What is his name? KMJ. KMJ. He loves women too much. 
Most of the Legon girls, mo, no, this one is not a prophet. I'm telling you, most of the Legon girls, somebody, somebody brought his picture to me. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody brought you, yes, I'm telling you. I've never met him, but you see, one thing that those people who sit on media to insult us is that you see, we do counseling. Ah. If you're looking for people that have custod who are custodian of secrets in this country, they are prophets. Sister Rose, if I say things I know. So they broke him just Yeah, they brought his elegant girl. To, to tell do what? To tie him? Yeah, to tell him. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my breaking news. <laughs> what is the tie care yeah, yeah, yeah. So that she'll marry him or yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Did you do it? Oh, no, I, don't, I didn't do it. So I was like, oh, look at this guy <laughs> who was who was abusing me on TV. Look at that. They have brought you on a silver platter. I wish we had more time, but unfortunately, we yeah, don't yeah, have yeah. the time. Like this guy, uh, is it which I do for one of that person? <laughs> Jerry Justice. I was uh, you, 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 people have gone. <laughs> We almost go back. Yeah. The final one I wanted to ask yes, you, please. IGP has said that no prophet should speak about, you know, yeah. these things. Are you going to still prophesy? Yeah, I'm going to speak the mind of God. And I'm still going to prophesy about the institution of the police service. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. That's my prophecy number seven this year, I'm going to say. Last year, so I prophesied about the IGP, and it almost came to pass. And we're still praying for him. Okay. I think that Nanado should not sack him. He should not. He's one, apart from free is SHS. Only two things that in this in this administration is good: free SHS and Dom Paris. So you should not. So twenty twenty four, who will win the elections? Is that who will win? Yeah. Uh, so far, what has God said? So far, God says. Uh, you know the obvious. No, I don't know. Just say it. Say again. Just say it. I don't want to break it. I, I'll say it at first. I don't want to pamper them. I feel okay. that they are being pampered. Okay. I don't want to pamper. It's just my inspiration. A time is coming that when I see good things about you people, I'll say it. So the Lord bless you and favor you to all my church members. Okay. I love you and the leadership. I love you. Thank you. All right, Prophet Nigel Gezi, before you go, let me take this and give it to you, okay? I have a gift for you, a special gift oh, for you. Wow. Yes, a special Thank gift for you. you. I have I'm to do this to before we it. go off air. Wow, I'm going to put it in my office. <laughs> this is, Please put you. it in your office. It's thank very you. important that you do thank so you. for us. Thank I want you. to say a very big thank you to Multi Frames for giving us this frame. Thank you. We thank you for loving us as well. Thank, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you all for watching Prime Morning. Uh, we are super grateful. We have a breaking news. KMJ's picture was taken to Prophet Nigel Gezi to tie him, but she didn't do it. Thank you so much. My name is Rosalind Feli. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll be back again tomorrow. Bye.